my basic biology teacher when I was 16 said, there are these cells that have been alive since 1951 and the woman they came from died and she was black. Like that was all he said. And I went, what? Who, what are these cells and why, why, who was she? And did she have kids and what do they think? And those moments, that's what writing is all about. Training yourself to recognize those big moments when they happen. They're the sort of what moments and to just follow them wherever they're gonna take you. The greatest responses that I get to the book usually starts with, I hate science, or I almost didn't read it because it was about cells and it sort of freaked me out, And but then I couldn't stop. And a lot of what brings them through the story is the characters. The things that happen to them and the things that they do are, are really sort of too incredible. It's a story about family, and it's a story about what happens when you lose a mother children trying to learn about their family while at the same time you're learning that you actually benefited from their mother's death every single person out there there's not a single person in the world really who hasn't benefited in some way from these cells i've had kids come up to me saying my mom had cancer when i was growing up and she's alive because she took this drug that they used HeLa cells to develop so i feel like all of these things that the family went through when henrietta died i didn't go through because Henrietta's cells helped save my mother. I talked about the story a lot, which is something a lot of writers don't do. I would meet people, you know, out at a dinner party or something, and they'd say, what do you do? Oh, I'm just writing this book, what's it about? And, and I would always start off by saying, it's about the first immortal cells ever grown in culture. And they would go, oh, uh, like, really? Are you kidding? And I'd be like, no, no, it's interesting. And then I would start to tell the story of the family and the cells and what they did. And inevitably, everyone's reaction was the same. It was like their jaws would drop and they would just like, Really? What are you doing out of your house? Go home and write this book because I want to read it. Good science is all about following the data as it shows up and letting yourself be proven wrong and letting everything change while you're working on it. And I think writing is the same way. And, and I think that this, the process of this book was that. I mean, I started writing it thinking I was just writing a book about the cells and the woman they came from. You know, what you imagine the unknown is going to be is never what it actually is.